Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and it's a kind of busy day around here. Tomorrow we're having a big barbecue for Father's Day and it's also my honey's birthday. So we invited all of our family and our friends over to come hang out for the afternoon. Uh, so today I'm working on making cakes and I've got those hams that I cooked. I've got to shred all the meat to get it ready for tomorrow. Austin is outside uh, mowing. He's finishing mowing. We've just had so much rain that it's been hard to get out to mow. So he's mowing this morning before it rains again this afternoon. And um, tomorrow, thankfully, the forecast looks like it's gonna be hot and sunny with no rain. So that will be really nice if it is. Um, we're also just cleaning up the house and carrying some packed boxes out to our Connex so that they're out of the way and there's a little more room inside in case it does rain tomorrow we can um, gather people in the house but I'm getting ready to clean up the kitchen so that I can start working on making the cakes I'm gonna make a zucchini chocolate chip cake and spice cake and I've got to make them big I've got to make two big like half sheet cake size because there's a lot of people coming so I'm gonna work on that get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit and um, this afternoon we will clean up the house some more. It's kind of hard to do it right now with people going in and out and have mud on their feet and stuff. But uh, this afternoon or this evening I'll, we'll finish cleaning up all the way once we're done going in and out the door and carrying stuff outside. So I'm going to get started on this kitchen and baking some cakes. Biddy wants to help me. You want to help Biddy? Okay, uh -huh. why don't you go get dressed in some clothes, okay? Okay. Yeah. I started with making the um, oat flour spice cake first. To do that, I put my water, butter, and some brown sugar in the saucepan to melt and dissolve the sugar and the butter. Um, normally the recipe calls for honey, but I didn't have honey to use, and so I just figured brown sugar would work well, and it, it did fine without um, honey in it. It was still really good. And really couldn't even notice that the honey was missing. The next thing I did was get my oat flour measured out in my bowl. To make the oat flour, I just dumped some regular old-fashioned oats into my blender and blended it up until it was about as fine as you can get it. Whenever you do it in a blender, you can't get the flour nearly as fine as if you were to do it in a mill. And I could have used my uh, mill, I just, the blender was right there and easier, so that's what I chose to use.
I did have a little bit of batter left from both of my cakes. Um, it was enough to make a 9 by 13 size cake and I just poured the chocolate one in first and then I dumped the rest of the spice cake in the middle. And we've been enjoying it this week. Um, I just made some simple chocolate buttercream to put on there and we've been eating it for a snack. So after I finished with the oat flour spice cake, I started making the chocolate chip zucchini cake. This cake is so good. It is so moist and delicious. My friend gave me her recipe and it's fairly simple and it uses a lot of zucchini and it just is really, really good topped with a chocolate buttercream frosting. It's delicious. I also did have some oat flour left over from grinding it for the spice cake. So I just went ahead and used that for some of the flour in my chocolate chip zucchini cake. I added whatever oat flour I had left and then I put the rest of the flour just with some unbleached all-purpose flour. I had gotten two bags of um, zucchini out of the freezer. I don't shred my zucchini, I actually just put it in the um, food processor and process it until it's in fine little pieces and then stick those in Ziploc baggies in the freezer and that way I can pull them out and I pre-measure. Uh, the recipe actually for this called for two cups of zucchini and I went ahead and got out two bags instead. It doesn't hurt to add a little bit of extra. You get some extra veggies in there and makes it a little bit more moist and it uses up more of the food that's in my freezer. On this particular day, my oven was being really smoky when I turned it on to preheat. Uh, the next day, my daughter and I actually took out the bottom part and tried to clean it out and found that there had been a mouse in there trying to make its nest. So I turned the oven on and just let it burn out everything that was in there and I haven't had an issue with it since then, but it was making our house really smoky there for a few times until we got it all cleaned out. All right, it is about 2.30 now. I got my cakes all baked. I have to make the frosting still, which I think I may wait until we get home tomorrow and make frosting before everybody gets here. But if you can see in the background, there's a big nasty storm coming our way. The radar shows it's gonna go right over our house. So Austin is, um, can't see him from here behind the trampoline over there at that connex he's welding the top up a little bit it's got a hole and with all the rain that we've been getting it got filled with water there was water on the ground one of our boxes of books got completely soaked I'm praying that the books are not ruined that they will dry out okay because they were good books it's very sad um, so he's working on that the boys are playing the girls are inside um, just hanging out. We're still just kind of waiting to clean the house, but I do need to go get my laundry done. Kaylee's been getting some laundry done, so I need to go do that. And besides that, we haven't done a ton of stuff besides, well, I cut up the watermelon and I've still got to do the meat. So I might work on that here in just a little while, but I'm going to go get my clothes washing first so that those can get done. If there was one chore, that I would choose for anyone to do for me all the time, it would be laundry. I hate doing laundry. <laughs> I usually put it off. I think it's because our stuff is in the basement. The washer and dryer in the basement, so I just forget and it's just more work than I feel like it should be. So I'm gonna get the laundry done now and then we'll get the meat out and get started on that. I had cooked all my meat ahead of time. Um, I had two big, 
ham roast that I was uh, roasting in the oven and I put them in the refrigerator to cool so the meat would be easier to handle. I left them in there overnight and I, after I started the process of getting all the meat off the bones, I decided that it really would have been better to just do it while they were hot um, or at least not completely cold. It made it really difficult to get the meat off because all of the fat had set up and was hard and so it was just like a big chunk on there. It made it really hard to get it off. But I managed. I got everything off the bones. Um, I did use a knife. I ended up chopping some of it that I just couldn't get to pull apart very well. But it turned out really, really good in the end um, and was delicious and uh, just next time I will pull the meat off the bones before it's completely cold and that will make it a little bit easier for me. I did use the broth that I had saved the day before um, from the other roast on all of this meat. I poured it over the top and then I had left the juice in the bottom from the other one and that way when I cooked it, it kept the meat moist where pork tends to dry out. With all that broth on there, it helped the meat to stay moist. So um, that night for dinner, we had some ground beef with some noodles and some homemade Alfredo sauce. It was really good, actually it turned out really well. And um, then after dinner we finished cleaning the house up. But that was it for our day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.